For the past few days, all the Logan Paul KSI Prime Energy Drink, Hydration Drink fans, the ones who have Prime for breakfast, lunch, dinner, they are under full panic mode. They are in the bathroom 24 hours, 7 days a week trying to shit the Prime out of their body after Prime was hit with two lawsuits, one that can cause you cancer and two you can die of an early heart attack. Prime is now getting sued and you should be seriously concerned if you had any Prime since it released. So Prime is now going through a new lawsuit after it was discovered that their drink has PFOs which is forever chemicals. But what's really concerning is the fact that the lawyer who tested their drink is claiming it has three times the amount of forever chemicals a human can safely have in their lifetime. And the lawsuit is claiming they found these forever chemicals in the grape flavored Prime drink. However, it also seems like other flavors might also have these chemicals because other Prime flavors are being tested. And we're going to find out after the lawsuit is approved. Now what is a PFA and a pfos these are the chemicals that were found in prime grape energy drink flavored hydration this is one out of the two lawsuits that's going on right now the fact that prime has chemicals inside known as pfas and pfos which are there there are forever chemicals they're never gonna leave your body now what else causes pfas besides the fact that you drink prime for lunch breakfast dinner it comes from plants it comes from like water foams airfields military bases firefighting training grounds just it's everywhere basically you can literally walk out and just catch the chemicals as it's gonna be in your body but what they're claiming is prime has three times the amount that a human can take so it's they know that it has chemicals and they are putting it directly intentionally in your body to make money out of you that's what they're saying now how dangerous is pfas they can lead to health problems such as liver damage thyroids disease obesity fertility issues and cancer this is the most dangerous one which which freaked everyone out and a mother came out and spoke about their 10 year old child after consuming the prime energy drink they got leukemia cancer. Now, I don't really think it had anything to do with Prime. There's a very high chance it can be from natural causes inside the DNA, the genes that they have it in the family, whatever it is. Now, I found this statement as well, which is going to freak most of you out. PFAs don't easily break down, can persist in your body and environment for decades. Today, more than 97% of the US population has pfas in their bodies now no need to panic you're not going to die it's just in your body it's there's different levels of pfas in your body some can can be serious you know three four times that a human can take some can you know can be fine but when they say the prime gives you three times the amount that a adult and keyword adult can handle this is where things can get a little bit serious and you're allowed to shit yourself. One thing they say is it's zero sugar. When I tried it, it was so sweet. There is no way in hell that it is zero sugar or two grams of sugar, like low sugar. There is no, it was full sweet. I've tried like four or five different flavors. They were all sweet. It's either they're using some sort of chemical, you know, they use a little bit of sugar, but in order to make it sweet, they use a little bit of chemicals and maybe that chemical comes out to be FDAs, FDOs, whatever. I'm, I don't know, man. I'm not a fucking doctor, but I'm, I'm going to put the list of the things that were found inside, you know, the chemical things that were found inside the, the grape drink that they tested. This is only the grape hydration drink. Imagine the other uh, hydration drinks, what other shit they're going to find in there. Probably the same thing, maybe worse. So take a good look. If you're a doctor or a lawyer and you're watching this video, you probably know what these things are. If you're a nerd, you do researches about these things. But most of you, this sounds like gibberish. All you need to focus on is acids, acids, acids. Just by reading the name, you can tell that it's bad. And there's a lot of people who are shaming people for drinking Prime. Because, you know, they never had a prime in their life and they're saying, I told you so. All of you are going to die before the age of 30. I never had prime and I'm going to continue not to have prime because I knew exactly how this was going to go. I knew the dangers because I'm so smart. Proceeds to, you know, vape his vape. There's definitely more stuff dangerous than this. It just needs to be researched, studied, and this needs to be proven. It's still going, undergoing in court. It's still all alleged. We don't know what the outcome is going to go. Definitely KSI and Logan going to end up 
four other partners in prime they're gonna hire the best lawyers maybe try to bury this pay them money we don't know what's gonna happen time will tell and the second lawsuit is about the caffeine that was mentioned inside prime energy drinks which they said is 200 it's something it's the lawsuit is really stupid they're asking for five million dollars because they said the caffeine is 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 200 mg but it turned out that it's actually 215 mg oh my god it's 15 more what's gonna happen a normal adult can take like 400 mg of caffeine on daily basis this is like max you can't go above that or it's gonna turn out to be, to be unhealthy and you're gonna face a lot of issues also the reason for this second lawsuit is the fact that logan paul and ksr are promoting to kids as well and a lot of kids who love them they would die for an energy prime drink energy prime hydration just to show support and there's a lot of parents who came out and said that their kids got sick their kids took ca this Empire energy drink i don't know someone died someone is hospitalized but uh, bro it's the parents fault don't give your fucking kids caffeine it's like giving your eight-year-old kid coffee obviously it's going to be bad for them you can't blame prime for this this is the normal amount of caffeine that's inside each bottle there's usually it's just 200 of them that's why it's only recommended for everyone to just take one bang has 300 red bull has like 80 which is the safest one 160 i don't know monster has 200 160 as well but if you want a late heart attack not a heart attack in your 40s i would definitely suggest you do not have energy drinks maybe once a month for or once a year for birthday celebration special special occasions now i get it caffeine goes inside your blood starts pumping it up starts uh, your heartbeat to beat faster so you're going to be motivated to fucking lift a lot of uh, uh you know weights and all these hydration energy drinks are for what they are for sports before you go to before you start the gym before you start a marathon but what do nowadays people use energy drinks for they fucking chuck down a monster energy drink getting ready stretching to get on a 12 hour session of valorant you do not need energy drink for playing video games it is not going to make you a better player you still suck at the game my point of view on energy drinks it's very unnecessary even if you're going to want to go to the gym yes it will pump up your blood like i said it will pump up the bloodstream you're gonna get like ener energized or whatever you're gonna be like in on fucking cocaine but there are other ways to do that my motivation at the gym is my ex you know my first love is laughing at another guy's jokes <laughs> fucking triple the weights that i do at the gym <sighs> the mind controls everything the body tells you oh let's go have junk food oh let's sleep take a nap oh let's watch some netflix we don't need to work let's watch some corn but it's all up to your mind to control your shit that is not the only inspiring quote i'm gonna drop for you i'm gonna drop another one for you as well the one i saw on instagram reels yesterday if you fart in the gym, no one's going to notice you. But if you take a shit, big old fat shit, stinky shit on the ground of the gym, that is when people are going to come, remove your membership and throw you in jail. Kick you out of the gym, basically. Moral of the story, the meaning of this is no one will start noticing you until you start making big moves. Very inspiring. But anyways, regarding to this... Logan Paul and KSI, they're probably shitting themselves as well, trying to come up with what are they going to tell the public. I still don't know why Logan Paul's fans are still buying his prime energy drink after his scam situation that happened, what, a year, two years ago? They, so they still haven't responded to all of this. I'm actually very curious to see how this whole thing turns out. But uh, if you're scared, if you're asking yourself, if you're going to comment down, Kush, I had two drinks in my life am i cooked kush i drank this uh, a prime regularly 12 bottles a week am i cooked you do worse things in your life with alcohol vape cigarettes whatever so don't worry you're you're you were cooked from way before but anyways i just wanted to share this information with you but yeah take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one